All right, let me just be a jerk for a moment. moment. <clears throat> and just, just one thing I have to just look into. So we got jerk ass over here who is very, very upset about Apu, right? Yep. And then I'm like, well, then, even though I don't know for sure, either way, whoever voiced um, Kansu Renu's phone, yes, we're going to King of the Hill. Let's say he is Lay Ocean. Then that means that he basically impersonated a white man, Cotton Hill. But of course, like I kind of figure what's going on is that Cotton Hill, the voice actor, is maybe white and he voiced freaking Khan Subinusen phone. And yet we have no freaking anything of where it's like, oh, we're canceling him now. Or canceling like as soon as the reboot happens, like, well, I expect you guys to do some messed up bullshit to freaking ruin another show. <laughs> it's like, well, it's not really. It's like you can't put the dumbass idiot who screwed over Apu with whoever is going to be a jerk ass and go after constant new business home. but let's, let's just see can they really actually do it and it's like look no one did anything right now it's like notice no one has any controversy against that man against his wife or against his girl his daughter what do they have hmm well let's see if I remember correctly, he is a neighbor who works hard and he was a part of a technical firm, which, hey, if we're going to be like, oh, the stereotype is like, dude, he is, he is getting the big bucks. He's getting the big bucks. He does have a mom that's Lay Ocean too. And damn, that, that was a crazy episode. Uh, let's see. His wife is a stay at home mother. I'm pretty sure. Uh, they did actually go a trip together when, especially when he had, went on business and of course, Connie sadly got her monthly visitor. Uh, by the end of the show, they gave him manic bipolarism. So, you know, I don't think that's not a good idea to go stereotyping on because then you're basically just implementing that, Hey, um, all the oceans are manic depressant. Which is like, that's not true. But it's like, yeah, but if they attack him now, they kind of have some issues here. <laughs> they have to make sure they underline what made them mad. What basically upset at them. And it's like, yeah, well, you didn't watch the problem with Apu. It's like, true. I don't know exactly what his problem really was with Apu besides him being stereotypical. And I'm like, yeah. And you could just check out that video where I'm like, he did more things than what the fuck you're freaking pissed off about. He did more things than that. Shoot, I think we need to have another video with me just showing you how much of a bastard ass bullcrap jerk ass you are. But anyways, it's like, yeah, continue to bash the bastard. But with Khan, I think he did become a hillbilly at one point. Yeah, that was a crazy episode. He decided to let things go. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, don't forget about um, Min, his wife. Use nutmeg. Use nutmeg. Use nutmeg. Use nutmeg. I'm pretty sure at that point, it's like, yeah, okay. Hey, if you're going to say that Min is stereotypical, I think they have a good thing going there. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but Min wants to win and Min will undercut people, which is like, that's a good quality. It's like, undercut people to succeed that's not a bad quality it's messed up yeah definitely but if she wins in the end it's like results results are they really strict with their daughter oh yes yes they sure are <laughs> and is there anything else i bet there's more things that khan did but khan actually is kind of a friend in a way He's definitely a neighbor. They're not really enemies. They're not rivals. He's okay. And I don't think there's anything really stereotypical about him. He keeps his culture. Yeah, he definitely keeps. Oh, wait, don't forget to kiss his, kiss his, um, what was his name? Well, of course you have Mr. Ho, <laughs> but not Mr. Ho. It was Chang Wasana Song. Yeah. So Mr. Wasana Song. He's part of the same company. He's higher than him, and he's always kissing that ass. It was like, hmm. 
that might be something you'd be upset about, but it's like, yeah, it's a part of his character, you know? It's like, well, he's trying to get better in life, and I think he does have to kill her instinct like men has. Of course he does. It's just that he's not able to get a good angle to take down Chang Wasana. No, sorry, Mr. Wasana song, because Chang is basically his son. Anyways, that's about all that's really need to be mentioned. Mm, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's basically it. Besides talking about the whole thing of Buddhism and the fact of they were looking for the Dalai Lama and Bobby was a very good candidate. Yeah, he was a very good candidate. They tried to push Connie, but nope. Anyways, personally, I think you shouldn't do anything. And more importantly, I can see that I'm pretty sure that one real good thing of why the lost season of Beavis and Butthead isn't here is because of Hamid. He's like, yeah, Hamid showed up in two episodes and I'm pretty sure that was bad. But for me, it was funny. I hope everyone else thought it was funny. But the ones who actually most likely would be pissed off about it, it makes sense why that has never been released ever. Or he hasn't returned. Yep, he hasn't been added to, you know, the life. <laughs> he didn't have the real life. Yeah, he hasn't been added back into the new series whatsoever. It's like, it's a darn shame. But... You can understand that that definitely was stereotypical, but still, I kind of like him, though. <laughs> it's like, I like that man. But of course, you know, I can understand that that one, I can understand that people might be upset by him.